Hello everyone. Welcome to the video summary of the play, The Shoemaker's Holiday by Thomas Dekker. In this video, the play will be summarized in depth. This video is important, particularly if you are preparing for UGC net and all kinds of competitive exams. So without wasting much time, let's get into the video. Before we get into the details of the play itself, it's first essential to look at some of the important characters of the play. So here are some major characters from the play. Rose Oakley and Roland Lessie, both are lovers. Sir Roger Oakley is the father of Rose Oakley. CPL, who is a maid of Rose. Sir Hugh Lessie is the uncle of Roland Lessie and also the Earl of Lincoln. Ralph and Jane are recently married couple. Sam and I is the master of shoemakers and both Roland Lissy and Ralph works in the shop. And finally Haman, he is a rich man who is in love with Jane. The shoemaker's holiday takes place during the reign of Henry VI when England is heading into war with France. The Lord Mayor of London Roger Oakley doesn't want his daughter Rose to marry Roland Lacey, the nephew of Earl of Lincoln, because they are not of the same class. Lacey, who is called, called off to war immediately, decides to know to go and turns himself as a shoemaker in hands so that he can stay in London and see Rose every day. So Lacey turns into a shoemaker named Hands and goes to work in the shop of Sankhnaya, who is the master of shoemakers. Meanwhile, a younger soldier named Ralph, who is also a shoemaker working with Sankhnaya, has been sent off to war and his wife Jane awaits his return. A dead ship arrives in London with a rich cargo of luxury items which the skipper offers at a bargain price. Lacey helps Simon Iyer to buy goods using the money his uncle gave him for his expenses in France. After that, Simon Iyer grows prosperous and becomes first an alderman, then sheriff, and he hand over his shoe shop to his foreman, Hodge. In the country, Hemen, a wealthy man, meets Rose Dornier Hunt, and her father, Roger Oakley, finds Hemen a suitable husband for Rose. However, Rose rejects him. One of Hugh Lizzie's servants finds out that Lizzie was staying in England and not in France with the army. So Sir Hugh sent the servant to discover Lizzie's whereabouts. Hemen spies on Jane while she works alone in a cloth shop. When he confesses his love to her. She rejects him, declaring that she is already married and her husband, Ralph, is fighting in France. But Hammond does not leave until Jane promises him that if she does remarry, it will be him. Hammond produces a newspaper cutting which claims that her husband, Ralph, has been killed in the war. Hearing the news, Jane agrees to marry Hammond, despite her grief. Meanwhile, Ralph, wounded not dead, returns home and finds out that his wife Jane has left him. Rose, recognizing Lacey's presence in the city, decides to see him on the following day on the excuse of fitting her shoes. They both meet and plan their wedding the next day at the church. Oakley and Lincoln discuss how they intend to separate Rose, Rose and Lizzie. Their plan is to find Lizzie and send him off to France. One of the servants of Oakley rushes in and reveals that Hans and Rose are planning to be married. Lincoln then realizes that Hans must be Lizzie and asks the servant to tell him at which church Rose and Hans will be married, but he gives him gives Lincoln and Oakley directions 
to the church where Heman will marry Jane. Heman's servant visit the shoemakers to order a pair of shoes for his master's bride since they will be married the next day. He shows Ralph a shoe belonging to the woman and asks him to make a pair of the same dimensions. Ralph recognizes the shoe and realizes that the bride is his own wife, Jane. Hodge and Ralph's other fellow workers tell him that they will help him to stop the wedding before it happens. At the church, Jane is delighted to know that her true love is alive. Haman attempts to bribe Ralph to give her up, but Ralph refuses his offer and chooses his wife. Lincoln and Woodley arrives at the church to stop the wedding, thinking Jane and Ralph are Rose and Lizzie in disguise. As soon as they learn their mistake, Hodge arrives at the church with the news that Rose and Lizzie are married and that Simon Dyer intends to beg the king that Lizzie be pardoned for his crimes. In the end, Simon Dyer, now the Lord Mayor of London, gives a breakfast for all his apprentices. The king pardons Lizzie and approves their marriage. Oddly and Lingan have no choice, so they accept the match. To honor Simon Dyer, the king himself names his new building Leader Hall and Simon Dyer declares a very short Tuesday the shoemaker's holiday. So here the play ends on a happy note. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get more video updates.